So in this video we're going to do some shortcuts on the Apple TV remote. If you don't have this version of the remote, the buttons are similarly named, although they may be in a different location. Number one, if you want to move an app, you just hold down the enter button and you'll get a menu pop up and it's the first choice. You edit the home screen, so you hit the enter button a second time. Once it's wiggling at that point, you can up, down, left, or right directionally to move the app. I'm going to go ahead and move it down a row and then hit the menu button to resume the normal screen. And in the case where you no longer want a channel, if your subscription's over or you just don't use it, when you're on the app you want, you just hold down the enter button and the menu will appear again. This time you're going to go down two and when you're over delete app, hit the enter button again and then it'll just ask to confirm it. That'll delete the app from the Apple TV. Number three. Now any app in the top row, some of them will have the option for you to, if you hit the up button, um, then you can go right or left into the shows you either recently watched or shows they're promoting. To get back out, you just hit the menu button and the row will reappear. For example, here in the Spectrum app, I had the Game Show Network. So I just hit the tile and it opens the Game Show Network in Spectrum. So I don't have to do anything inside the Spectrum user interface. Again, not all the apps are, are really going to have this feature, but it is a nice feature for those that have it. So you tap the menu once to go home, then you tap it a second time, it'll go into Screensaver. And to get out, just tap it a third time. And you can configure the screensaver to anything you want under settings. Number five, if you want a shortcut to exit the app you're currently watching, you can just hold down the home button once and that'll get you all the way out to the home screen. Just hold down the home button once and that'll get you all the way out to the home screen. Now if you want to change users or quick settings, you just hold down the home button uh, you hold it down for, I'd say, a second or so, and you'll see a menu pop out of the upper right. Here you can do shutdown, change your network, set a sleep timer, change the user if you have other users in the house, um, which will basically give them their own interface to it, which is kind of nice. You can't even do that on an iPad. Uh, it's nice that they have it here. And again, it's menu to gradually get back to the home page or just hit the home button to get all the way back to the home page quickly. Hold down the home button and you'll see a menu pop out of the upper right. I'm going to go ahead and set the sleep timer for 20 minutes and then hit OK on that. And again, it's menu to gradually get back to the home page or just hit the home button to get all the way back to the home page quickly. In the Spectrum app, you can use Siri to tell it which channel you want to traverse to without opening the menu, which is kind of nice. So here I am on the Game Show channel. Hey Siri, play Nick Jr. channel. Now this next one is really to address what I consider to be a design flaw. On the remote itself, it's very smooth on the front and back. Top and bottom are really hard to tell apart, and the top is a very, very reactive, touch-sensitive tile. So if there's some way you can determine when you pick it up, which is the bottom, without looking at it, it would be easier to use. So I come up with this little hack. Take a piece of masking tape, go on the very bottom, and just go around the remote two or three times. And that way you have something on the bottom that gives it a little bit of uh, surface texture, and a little bit on the corners as well. You can kind of feel it. And that way you know that's the bottom and not the tile top. So if you're falling asleep on the couch and it's on the end table and you want to grab for it, you know which end is the uh, reactive touch sensitive tile. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up or hit the bell button to subscribe.